तीरणात्मक हेरोम लक्ष्य पेन्नुंकर Navigating Sri Lanka's post challenges from ideals to reality a historic turn in the direction of their country welcome to today's episode of crossroads of crisis sanaika and his npp's promise to root out corruption and clean up parliament sri lanka an island known for its resilience and rich history now finds itself at a historic juncture a critical moment defined not by ordinary challenges but by what we call post challenges These are crises that defy simple solutions involving intertwined layers of economic despair, social strain, and political upheaval. In simpler terms, Sri Lanka faces a problem of problems. From fighting the political mainstream to dispelling rumors and concerns about its intentions. At the forefront of this journey is President Anura Kumara Dasanayake and the National People's Power (NPP) party, whose electoral victory was built on the promise of radical change and a brighter tomorrow. Yet, as they assume power, the weight of their mandate grows heavier under the dark clouds of economic, political, and But social storms. And the economic storm would be the economy, the economic crisis, and the IMF get the economic situation remains dire. Years of accumulated debt have left the nation vulnerable, tied to the decisions of global creditors and institutions like the World Bank, the International Monetary also, Fund, Parliament and bilateral and agreements. For everyday Sri Lankans, this debt is not an abstract figure. It manifests as sky-high food prices, a weakening rupee, and the constant worry of whether their salaries will last through the month. Behind every household door, there's a story of sacrifice, skipping meals, stretching resources, or even foregoing children's education. Families are being pushed to their limits, and tragically, that limit has already been breached. What we're witnessing is not just economic instability, it's post hope, a hope exhausted, promised too many times and broken too many ways. And the port as collateral, leading the Sri Lankan government to relinquish control to a Chinese firm. Ratings agencies ideology meets reality. Politically, Sri Lanka finds itself in uncharted waters. The NPP, once seen as a beacon of transformative ideals, now grapples with the hard realities of governance. Their bold promises of justice and equity clash with the difficult truths of policy making. The question now is this: How does a leader like President Dasanayake transition from the passionate rhetoric of the campaign trail to the calculated decisions required in governance? Will the ideals that fueled his rise to power hold strong, or will they falter against the storms of inflation, public dissent, and geopolitical tension? Predicting the outcome is premature. However, the challenge is greater than words alone can express. As a left-wing political party, the MPP faces a critical ideological dilemma: whether to pursue the welfare-based socialism it champions or align with the market-oriented capitalism encouraged by IMF directives. While Marxist and leftist ideologies have evolved over the decades, the MPP's ground-level commitments and promises push toward a model resembling social democracy. Given that the MPP has long addressed grassroots concerns, public expectations are immense. The party's strong critique of the past 75 years of governance only amplifies the pressure not to falter. The central ideological question is, how will this transformation play out both within the party and among the people themselves? As it sounds like we like to the geopolitical crossroads. Meanwhile, Sri Lanka's strategic location in the Indian Ocean has once again attracted the attention of global powers. The tug of war between China, India, and the United States has intensified. Sri Lanka needs all three, but their interests are not reciprocally aligned. China's investments, such as the controversial Hambantota port, deepen economic dependencies, while India counters with its own influence-building strategies. The United States, meanwhile, sees Sri Lanka as a crucial element in its Indo-Pacific strategy, treating the island more as a strategic pawn than a partner. The political ball has now been passed into an unexpected arena, controlled by a triangle of remote influencers. For Sri Lanka, this isn't just a diplomatic balancing act; it's a high-stakes game involving the country's sovereignty, economic stability, and overall future. Closing reflections: As Sri Lanka ventures deeper into this era of post problems, one thing is clear: there are no easy solutions. President Dasanayake faces a Herculean task. He must balance three critical realities. shifting from ideology to pragmatism carefully navigating international relations and 
recalibrating economic policies to stabilize the nation without alienating the public. The coming months will be decisive. Will Sri Lanka find its footing amidst these challenges, or will it sink deeper into the cycle of unfulfilled promises and crises? For now, the people of Sri Lanka remain caught between hope and uncertainty, waiting to see if their leaders can steer the nation toward a brighter future. Stay tuned as we continue to bring you insights and analytical updates on Sri Lanka's unfolding journey. Until next time, take care and stay informed. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Crossroads of Crisis.